Have you ever heard of a slaughter? I oughta start dipping Sipping on that ST gets me to tripping I don't slip, I bangs With that mad ass dog pound gang It's a DPG thing Corrupt from the SC You wanna test me? When you gonna put me up on one of your videos or something? You know I can still get in, check this out Welcome back to another episode of Rose and Gold My name is Dr. Ross And IK is in the building Exactly we're right now at the terminal, getting back into our flight, going straight back to Dallas, Texas. That's right, and then right after that, we will be heading to Oklahoma for to go on set for a shoot, and then right after that, we're going to go to Atlanta, so stay tuned for that on our Instagram. Exactly. We want to say one thing before we start this video. Go ahead. We got a message from the, uh, the up-and-coming Master P. Master P, keep on doing you, and keep up and on... Up-and-coming Master P. Keep on breaking bread. We're going to leave... We're going to leave his name right here down below. But keep on hustling and keep on being the Bentley status. Exactly. Well, let's get into our first hot topic for today. Starting it off with Lisa Renna. So Lisa Renna was um, with her other co-host on the reality TV with Andy mm -hmm. Cohan. And Andy Cohan decided to ask her what was her thoughts on Scott dating her 19-year-old daughter. We'll put the clip in right here. No, what was your first reaction when you found out that your daughter was dating uh, Scott Disick? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you talked to Chris Jenner about it? Have not. I just met him. Yes, he's more handsome in person, and he was very nice. We had a very nice, we had a very nice time. He met Harry, and there you go. Wow. There it is. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. What are your thoughts, I.K.? She needed a little bit more time because she she didn't know what to say, but at that moment, exactly, she knew and she knew that she had to say that Scott Disick is a thumbs down. Exactly. But Scott is a mess up. I think, you know, for me personally, I think she did the laugh intentionally. Like, that's what she was planning to do because she thinks it's just a silly hoax that it's not going to last long because Scott doesn't even have... Um, he doesn't have a record of staying in relationships for a long time anyway, so... And Dr. Ross, it's not even that. Because before that, we all know that he's part of the game. So Scott, Scott, you lost your manhood, and we saw your photo with you having a ring out, trying to flaunt that you're with Lisa Renna's daughter, but you can't do that if you face over there. Exactly. Stop it. We already know in that relationship, you're saying, so have you heard of Cole? Where's Court recently? You know, her hair was brown, I think. You know, our Court got her first car. Sit down. Exactly. Thumbs down. Let's get to our next hot topic. Our next hot topic is with Wendy Williams. We want to yes. speak on how lately Wendy has been going a bit crazy. She's been a little shady. She, we don't know if Miss, Mr. Williams has had multiple personalities or is maybe a bit... Exactly. She came right on her show and started telling um, the audience and her co-host how she felt. She said, your time is up for both of them, so. Say hello to my co-host, there for studio audience. Your days are numbered. We're opening up for your business beginning June 1st. Go to wendyshow.com to figure out how you get the tickets, dress the part, and you'll be right here, right here. Also, give it up for my virtual audience. Your days are number two. No. And then she started going on the next episode saying, oh, so I don't know if my mom likes the show. Oh, my mom likes the show. Like oh, yes, she was talking to herself. She was making it seem like they were both of them right there. We're going to put no Wendy, comment on that. Wendy, we don't know if you're on the alternate drugs, but stay off the drugs. Don't be like the uh, New York City Halloween incident. Oh, where you just black out on stage. Listen, fell over. Uh, you Let's know, I think her co-hosts were actually trying to do her, yeah, they no, were trying to get back at her because if you guys didn't see the little trailer that they're showing for Monday, we're going to put it in right here, they showed where she was going, Monday, and then they, so they're trying to make fun of her. Let's get into our next hot topic. Our next hot topic is with the new In the Heights movie. So this movie is coming out soon. I personally won't watch it because I'm not into musicals. I don't know if Dr. Ross is into it, but... In the Heights is going to make its money because it's coming out on HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and on the television networks as well as theater, so they've made their money. But all I can say about this is put Dr. Ross and I on your next In the Heights. Exactly. So I, 
I heard that the the director for this movie is going is the one from Crazy Rich Asians, but the only thing is I'm agreeing with IK. I don't think this movie is going to be for me because it's just too much of a musical, too much of Broadway. They should have kept it in the plays in New York instead of bringing it to the big screen. But and Dr. Ross, I would have watched this in the plays. Or exactly. In New York, if it actually. was in the Broadway setting, it would be a perfect time to go watch it. But again, it'd be a perfect time to put Dr. Ross on the next in the Heights 2. Right. Let's get into our next hot topic. Speaking of movies, though, Angelina Jolie's new movie, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. It's a really good movie. Personally, Angelina Jolie, she loves getting beat up and dragged through the mud so that she can beat up everyone else at the end, but it's well, called Those Who Wish Me Dead. She's trying to have that revenge factor. Comes exactly. Comes in, gets beat up, and then goes back and kills them all. It's based on the book, too. I have only watched the end because I was, I was watching Saw, which... Spiral, I, uh, Chris Rock's version of Saw. Exactly. Saw might not be for everyone, but to me it had a really good story, and it might have, it might have even blown away Angelina Jolie's film. Probably, I didn't go watch it because it was too scary for me. But I didn't, I didn't go watch that. But for Angelina Jolie's film, I only watched the last bit, but it seems. Miss Jolie doesn't seem like she's fully into it this time. Exactly, because she's having all the stress and drama going back and forth with the um, the kids and Brad, Brad Pitt. Actually, she's not even having a back and forth with Brad Pitt. Sure. Brad Pitt just is just chasing But I still think Angelina Jolie is a prolific, amazing actor, so Angelina, I'm going to leave it at that. Angelina Jolie, you know she got her money. Exactly. She was the first one to get paid, and she probably got... 90. And she was one of the head producers, so... She got 90% of that film. Dr. Ross, I'm betting you, because it seemed like they just went... If the scene she did, she did it one time, and that was it. Exactly. Let's get into our next topic. Olivia Rodrigo gives Taylor Swift a writing credit on her debut album. So, we're hearing that Taylor Swift has been writing some of the music for an up-and-coming artist, Olivia. And Olivia, you know, she made, I've, I've only heard like one or two of her songs that we've been in L.A. on the radio. And, you know, she sounds kind of good. It sounds a little bit like she's trying to copy Billie Eilish. And uh, now that we know that Taylor Swift wrote it, a little bit of Taylor Swift. But, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with her. And we look forward to making music with you in the future. Exactly. Miss Olivia Rodriguez. Hit us up. Send us a DM on our Instagram. Link is in the description below. Let's get into our next hot topic for today with Ashton Kutcher. So Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis actually have financial issues. Oh, yes, I heard about that. And um, the thing that we're hearing about is they like to make a lot of jokes, but apparently Ashton Kutcher's twin was not liking the joke that he made where he actually um, told everyone about one of the mental illnesses that he has. And that's just really, really sad. So... Ashton Kutcher, maybe watch what you say for now on, and not everything has to be a little bit of a joke. Let's go into our next hot topic. And to put it onto a lighter <laughs> note, we know that Miss, whatever his wife's name is, I forgot uh, her Mila name. Mila Kunis. <laughs> Mila Kunis, we know that she's probably asking for the Versace, Gucci, and a brand new house with a Porsche on top of that. But oh, hell no! You got a sandwich from that home? And let's get into our last and final hot topic, but before we do, if you haven't noticed, IK decided to dye his hair a little bit of a lighter blonde. And what do you guys think? I think it looks great. He looks like Tarzan in real life. Nature boy. Exactly. Let's, let's get into our, our let's final get, hot topic. Exactly. Our final hot topic for today is a phenomenal scene with Tom Cruise. He reveals how his vault scene from Mission Impossible came together. Yes. It, you know, it's really incredible what movies can do nowadays. That's why IK and I have really just stepped into the movie making industry but him showing the scene it was incredible how it was made but Tom Cruise we love to be in your next movie and we can't wait for the fight that you're going to be having with Jamie Foxx speaking of fights though don't forget to go watch um, Lammy Lamar Odom get knocked out <laughs> on live television starting I think uh, tomorrow he's going to go get knocked out so we guys will we'll let you guys know our thoughts on the little fight and let's close off like it the timer is ticking these were all of our hot topics, but we'll see you guys in the next installment. And Kylie Jenner, that's for you. We'll see you in the next episode. Out.